This conference will now be recorded. Hi, Jamal. Hi. Thank yeah, you. hi. Good evening. Good evening. Good morning. Yeah. <laughs> How are you? I'm pretty good. Just uh, exciting, waiting for uh, uh, so long. I'm trying to take up the things. We have to complete the training. Okay. Thank you for joining because some delay from my side only. Okay. Uh, from today onwards, we'll continue the class every day. Okay. Every day. Yeah, except to my Sunday, six days a week, mm -hmm. we'll continue. Okay. Okay, perfect. That's good. Experience. Yeah. Okay. Are you able to see my screen? Yes, sir. Okay. So, first we will see how to navigate in this yes for her did you get the login password uh you mean a sap login yeah uh i have a gui on my laptop but i did not get a link that i had to work on it since uh, since we left from the first class, so we did not talk about the login because we just it just gave me the, the first day introduction uh, class. So now from today, mm -hmm. uh, we need, I need the access that from today. Then I will work on it to to get it. Okay, so actually, uh, this is a S four system. During training, they used to give the remote desktop. Okay. It is not GUI. Okay. Okay. The okay. training system for S4 HANA. Okay. Okay. In real time, it is GUI and mm -hmm. portal, web portal for Fury. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. as this is a training system, generally they will give a remote desktop. First, we need to log into remote desktop. Uh -huh. After that, we will log into GUI and portal. Okay. Okay. So you want to send us the link that uh, that I will work. At. Yeah. Okay. Morley will send you the details. So uh -huh. so from there you can log in. So now I will okay. show you how to log in and everything. Okay, you mail like this. Uh -huh. There is the IP address will be there. Uh -huh. Okay, you can copy that IP address. Uh -huh. And you can you can see here remote desktop. Right. Okay, an icon. Uh -huh. So you can open that remote desktop and enter uh -huh. here computer your IP address okay, okay. and mm, okay and the user ID also they will give it to you SF new 46 example my user ID is this one computer okay. and user ID and you can click on connect okay it will ask you the password. Enter the password and click OK. It is still connecting. Yeah. Yeah. So once it is connected, it will come as your desktop screen. Okay. okay. This is remote desktop. So yeah. in the remote desktop, you will have a logon pad. Okay. This logon pad is 
same as normal login pad only you can see yes for 1809 1809 is a version you can open this login pad and the same ready password we can use okay this is yes for hana login pad okay you are able to see yeah but i did not okay. see any difference between the hana and the regular http is the same menu path is the yeah largest menu path is same everything is same except this appearance okay. appearance is like example if you open any transaction here you can see save button is at the bottom save or continue next okay okay this is like your fury screen and you will find a different menu also okay and in the above you will see the system id and everything in normal screen you will get the the system id at the bottom okay here you will get in the top okay mm -hmm. only the appearance is different mm -hmm. okay other than this in gui there is no difference same transaction codes same menu path everything is same mm -hmm. okay and if you don't like this appearance you want to go with the bold ecc appearance you can do that one also how you can do is like in uh, here you can go to the menu one option will be there to change this appearance to normal i am checking that yeah this sap gui settings you can go to the options here click on options and here visualization visual design yeah here you can see visual design under this there is a theme preview and settings is there you can remove this one accept fury visual theme if you remove this one it will show you as a normal just remove this tick mark and apply and okay and you close this screen and re-log in actually log off from this and once again log in so now it will appear as your normal gui screen okay this is normal gui screen as you will get the save button above and everything you can use any one of these Mm -hmm. is it clear this is setting actually okay? okay here this button options again if you want to you just tick mark this mm -hmm. okay is this clear yeah okay so next thing is this is how to log into gui now mm -hmm. how to log into the fury okay mm -hmm fury is nothing but a portal based okay mm -hmm. here 
they have given the icon that is nothing but a uh, chrome with address ip address no, not ip address portal address okay you just uh, double click this it will open the portal you can see okay and you can click on click here to you know, continue to this website you can click on continue this is the fury screen it will ask you the login and password okay the login now and the password user, is uh, excuse me now the user uh, and password we are using hmm. so they are hmm. all the same user and password is it correct or is it, correct. you can change it? okay all right. yeah. for this training they have given this is a user id and password mm -hmm. okay. okay for this training purpose they have given to us okay maybe he will send you another user or same user only you can check with him if he says uh, the same user so i can share with you you can uh, use the same okay otherwise now also i can tell you you can note down okay this is the password so you can uh, you can uh, note down i will uh, show you this mm -hmm. this is the ip address user id and password mm -hmm. you are noted down uh, i will take the Okay. 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 So you can try also. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now, once you open the Fury screen, mm -hmm. okay, you can type your IP address here. I know I'm not IP address. Sorry, user ID and password. It is still loading. Okay. So it is loaded now. Okay. So this is a screen for Fury. Okay. Okay. Now, once you loaded here, you can see these are the menu paths, output control. These are called folders. Okay. These are just like your folders based on the uh, transactions or tiles. They will provide different folders. And in the last you can see if you click this arrow button it will show you all these are the different folders, folders. folders. yeah folders okay mm -hmm. for example you want to directly go to the master data you can just click this select it okay you can see under master data these are the called the tiles okay each one is a tile Tile means it is nothing but a Fury app. Each one is a Fury app. Mm -hmm. oh, these are more related to finance. Let me open. Uh, are all our finance. Yeah. So how can you get the TP money? Yeah, yeah. I am going down actually. Planning. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. so,
Mm, okay. These are actually the purchasing related. Okay. This is uh, showing all the MM modules. Yeah, MM and uh, finance modules. Okay. I will ask them to add the PP related tiles. Okay. Mm -hmm. PP related tiles. Okay. This is just I am showing you now only the navigation. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And uh, once you, for example, um, procurement, let me open. Okay. Plan is there. This is also finance. Okay. Mostly the purchase are yeah all these are mainly the purchase orders so uh, i will show you how to open and everything okay just for example you want to see the purchase orders like manage purchase orders you want to see so you can open you can just click on this tile this is nothing but each one is a app okay I think uh, if you uncheck mark this one here, then it will try this here. Um, that uncheck mark is for prompting only. Okay okay it is open yeah. actually no filter set okay yeah. this is uh -huh. this is the way how the screen looks like okay okay now so we are working on purchase order right yeah purchase order yeah as an example i am showing you okay uh -huh. how it uh -huh. looks like screen uh -huh. now in the purchase orders this is managed purchase orders means it will list all your purchase orders okay mm -hmm. so here under the standard you have all these tabs okay mm -hmm. these are nothing but a filter these are mm -hmm. nothing but a filter okay means mm -hmm. for example you want to see for a particular plant you can enter that plant okay mm -hmm. and you can enter multiple plants also okay and or you can enter any of the supplier status wise or material date wise all these are the filters you can enter any filter and click on go mm -hmm. no items found okay i think for thousand there is no items so let me open any other plant It is not showing any data. Let me. Yeah, without filter, I put it here. So these are the purchase orders. Okay. So you want to see particular purchase order. You can select and you can click on that purchase order. it will open okay, it's not supported all these are the purchase orders i don't know what is the reason it is not opening actually Maybe this. Okay. 
technical error let's try it. okay some error is coming okay now it is open okay so this is the purchase order details okay mm -hmm. items this is item and this is the material number and item details delivery it looks like this way fury transaction mm -hmm. okay and if you want to edit something you can click edit button and you mm -hmm. can do the edit in purchase order mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. next if you want to go back you can click on this mm -hmm. back button mm -hmm. If you want to go to the home, you can click on this home button. It will go to the main. Okay. And for example, you have forgotten where this your tile is there, particular tile or Fury app. You can click on search here. Yeah. This is a search button here. You can type like purchase. So it will show you what is a purchase related Fury apps. Okay. Or you can click search once again. So it will show you all purchase related Fury tiles. Mm -hmm. Okay. So from there, you can select which one you want. Means you want to open. Can you put the routing? We will see maybe something comes up. Okay. Hi, Nicholas. Okay. Hi, Nicholas. Okay. Yeah, here you got the tiles. Are you able to hear us? Are you talking to me? Yeah. I can hear, yeah. uh, but we are not able to hear you, Nicholas. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. So I'm just explaining you how Fury looks like. Okay. If we have any questions, we can just type on chat. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah okay thank you yeah and okay you are asking routing let me type routing uh anytime you search if this window comes for security no or it, just, it should not uh, come it is some error is there i see otherwise it won't come mm -hmm. some issue with the system oh. otherwise it won't come back some security okay i'll do one thing close I am opening this IP address in Chrome. Okay. I 
am opening IP address in Chrome advanced proceed I'm using the same login and password now you use the Chrome and yes. what was the what was the what was the before what was the I said what was the before now you are working on a Chrome. before is Internet Explorer Okay. Internet Explorer. Okay. Okay. Generally, this Fury apps is faster in Chrome than normal. Okay. Okay. Now I am searching the tile routing. So I think this routing is not there. Search scope is not valid. Okay. So maybe product. Product also not there. Means it is not there. Otherwise it will Sir, come. Yeah, I okay. think uh, this station is not the state of for uh, production planning. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Uh, there is other module, fire, MM, other thing, but it's not in the PC module. Yes. Okay. So, just yeah. uh, I understand the menu for how to work on failure in the uh, portal base, uh, all these things. Uh, yeah. Just we can go to start on uh, uh, normal class. On process here yeah, discrete and yeah. uh, process okay okay we'll go into that now okay now i'm opening the normal gui mm -hmm. okay nicholas this is a gui gui is same as normal ecc only now we will go to the pp module yeah uh, in pp yeah. in manufacturing okay. yes okay, so before you start this i have one question yeah sure uh, please last time we last time we discussed about this great and uh uh, process and uh, repetitive. Correct. Uh, discrete. We use uh, production and the industry change production. And uh, the second one was uh, process and the cement mixing and all kind of uh, repetitive mix. cement or sugar that's a repetitive product. Is there any in the company? The they use all these three types of uh, production, or uh, one company use discrete and process, the other company use repetitive, or one company use all these three process. Okay. Generally, no company will use all the D three process. Okay. okay. This process is like a chemical and formula, pharma. Mm -hmm. industries mm -hmm. okay and discrete is like automotive or automobile mm -hmm. okay these two will not combine anytime okay but mm -hmm. repetitive can be used repetitive can be used along with your discrete or process industries repetitive is like same product you are continuously yeah, producing yeah. repeatedly producing it okay mm -hmm. that can be automobile like mm -hmm. you are producing the same uh, model for a long time you can use ripti to indiscrete okay right. same in the chemical industry one tablet is there or one mm -hmm. chemical is there they are producing continuously same chemical so they can use the ripti to Okay. Yeah, but no industry will use all these three. 
okay at the same time they want to use discrete and process mm -hmm. okay thank you so, yeah. uh, i now understand the, the concept of okay okay repetitive is like sugar or cement industries yeah okay and even though if it is a sugar industry they are producing same sugar every day mm -hmm. it is not mandatory to use the repetitive they can go to the discrete also even sugar also they can use a discrete manufacturing so where that difference right yeah okay where uh, the difference will come is mainly because of costing mm -hmm. okay in discrete mm -hmm. we do the costing for a product based product based means like you have created a now one production order for 100 quantity okay so you will get the cost of what is the actual cost and what is the planned cost for this order you will get in discrete so that means order wise product wise you will get the cost okay in case of repetitive manufacturing it is a period based costing period based means this month for example month of march you will get the cost that means mm -hmm. in month of march you produced thousand tons of sugar so it will mm -hmm. tell you the in that month what is the cost of the total thousand mm -hmm. it won't tell you order wise or product wise it will tell you in this period what is that product cost that's all okay so if a industry like sugar they want order wise costing so then they will take the discrete any industry okay they don't want order wise cost only period based they will take the repetitive manufacturing okay so the which industry they want to take is based on the your costing costing of a product okay so in the process it's a chemical and pharma means uh, yeah. one tablet uh, they manufacture one tablet let's see about a million tablets mm. and the next day they will use the repetitive they, they if they use the same tablet means they, it is called repetitive no they won't change frequently this same product yeah if the if they change the product then it will go in process yeah that is okay if they change the product that can be used as a repetitive but the same product generally they won't do both discrete and process okay or repetitive okay they will change the product and based on the product uh, setup they can go to the repetitive or this one discrete or process okay and in process also it is a product based costing only or order based costing okay only repetitive is only the period based costing okay so any other questions okay so first we will discuss on the discrete manufacturing okay i will explain you the complete process and oh, i will show you in the system also okay So discrete manufacturing means the product which is changing 
frequently those industry will come as a discrete industries for example automobile so in our example i will take you the product like honda city is our product okay this is our product for example so how this product is manufactured the process everything we will discuss okay so first in discrete manufacturing generally you will have the two kind of manufacturing one is make to stock mm -hmm. another one is make to order make to stock and make to order means you can see the name make to stock means you are making to keep as a stock make to order means you are making a product based on order okay. order means here sales order make to stock means uh, when you complete the order you keep it in your stock is that mean right not exactly okay make to stock means you will produce the product without any order Don't without yeah without any order order means a sales order so that means yeah example after example like yeah means after manufacturing when the honda is completed they can, they will keep it in any stock that means right correct okay they will keep as a stock so whenever the customer comes if that model is available he will take away he will okay. purchase and he will take away okay mm -hmm. it is best example like apple iphone is there so mm -hmm. if you went to a stores a shop mm -hmm. you will purchase from the existing model and you will take it that is right. called the make to stock because okay. you have already available stock is there so you will just mm -hmm. pay the money and you will take mm -hmm. iphone okay that is make to stock you are readily keeping the product mm -hmm. for a customer so now another is there make to order okay make to order is like customer give will give you an order to you and he will wait for some days to manufacture mm -hmm. it after completion of manufacture he will take the product okay, okay. till that he cannot get the product that is called the make to order okay? okay for example it is a bus okay volvo bus is there okay this bus means customer wants some different color or different model or he want interior decoration differently so all these are the his custom needs so he will give today 28th he will give an order that is called the sales order for 10 buses but you will give the delivery maybe after one month okay okay because based on this his needs you are making the product okay that is called the make to order okay so is it clear what is make to stock and make to order yes okay now what are the steps we will follow in this process we will discuss okay mm -hmm. so in make to stock scenario means you are directly keeping the stock okay you are mm -hmm. making this product based on your assumptions assumptions mm -hmm. means this month 
in the month of April you want to produce Honda City cars as a thousand mm -hmm. okay in the month of April you want to produce thousand city Honda cars and in the month of mm -hmm. May maybe it is 1100 in month of mm -hmm. June you want to produce 900 okay mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. these based on these assumptions mm -hmm. you will start producing it mm -hmm. okay how you will get these assumptions is based on your past history right. past history means in the month of March you sold around thousand so you want to produce again thousand in the month of May you have some local festival okay so people will buy more cars so you want to produce more in june month people will not buy the product more so you can produce 900 like this you will based on your assumptions you will put some target quantities okay this is called the forecast in sap terminology it is called the yeah forecast okay forecast is nothing but a in future how much you want to produce you want to manufacture okay that is called the forecast this forecast is the first step in make to stock okay in make to stock the first step is forecast now once you decided all these are the months you want to produce the product honda city so now to manufacture this honda city you need a planning you need a planning like to manufacture your honda car you need to assemble that product you need body you need tires you need glasses you need engine okay all these you need and you need a small parts like bolts and nuts everything you need so in a car at least not less than 500 parts will be there like engine bolts nuts frame all these minimum 500 parts is there so as a person it is not possible to plan each part okay you need some tool to plan all these parts right. that tool in sap is nothing but your mrp run MRP. mrp yeah MRP means material requirement planning. Okay. MRP run means this MRP run will tell you how many, what are the products required, means what are the parts required to manufacture Honda City and when it is required. Mm -hmm okay what are the parts you required and when it is required mm -hmm. when means from date material availability date it will tell you okay in mrp run mm -hmm. the output from this mrp run is you will get a planned order planned order is nothing but a for each product it will tell you the what is the start date what is the end date and how much quantity it is required for that product it those details you will have in this planned order okay in this you will have the details of i think you are from the pm module correct yeah okay so this planned order will have the quantity material and dates okay how you will get this planned order is after mrp run mm -hmm. okay 
then you will convert this planned order to production order hmm. what is this production order means this order will have the more details and you are saying it is confirmed planned order is like you want this much material on this date but in production order you will have the more details about that order like exact start date exact end date time product all the details and cost of that product planned cost actual cost all those details you will find in this production order this mm -hmm. you will convert from planned order to production order mm -hmm. okay you will have mm -hmm. this details here mm -hmm. and once you get this production order next you will just release this production order mm -hmm. release means you are handing over this production order to a shop floor person to assemble this car release is nothing but a, it is now production order is ready you can start mm -hmm. from today you can start producing the product from today okay so release the production order to the shop people you say yes for shop shop shower people okay okay so they can now they can take the print out the tar and they can start assembling the product right. okay that is the meaning of release okay. okay release means you don't want to do any further changes in this order just it is ready to manufacture the product mm -hmm. okay now shop floor people they start the producing product they started them product okay this order example thousand is your honda city okay now today they produced five cars example or 10 cars they produced as well the 10 so that how much they have produced today we will update in the system that is called the production confirmation yeah the phone is a is a bumbling i think it's the connection is not good so okay uh, it's the eco voice uh, you are getting some eco is it fine now because maybe a connection only because there is no uh, distance from my No, it's not good. Whatever you try, it's uh, breaking and breaking and breaking. So, uh, now okay. it was working perfect before. Now it's working. Yeah. Okay. Is it okay now? Or still same issue? Uh, Is it okay now? okay can i continue yes please okay so once the shop floor people completed their production like they have produced honda cars of 10 cars we will do that update in sap it is called production confirmation uh, that is the about after, the after the shop people complete the assembly work yeah then it it call a confirmation correct right? correct in sap we will call that as a confirmation that is nothing but okay. a production confirmation so in sap i will do the confirmation as this honda cars i produce 10 today uh -huh okay and then after formation we will do the goods movements 
what is the goods movements means to produce this 10 cars what are the components you are used mm -hmm. means how many engines used how tires you are used how many uh, glasses okay all these used to manufacture this 10 honda cars all those we will do in a goods movement okay Good goods movement movements are like so deliver the deliver the products hello we are not delivering the product we are just goods movements means we are doing the goods issue and receipt goods issue means like to manufacture this car you are used the engine you are used 10 engines okay mm -hmm. that you will consume in SAP. you need to consume that in SAP. that is called the goods issue okay goods receipt your for honda your the production is completed yeah mr Watson, the phone is uh, is not doing good the phone is breaking oh okay okay you are using a desktop or a phone no i am uh, an iphone and, uh, okay I'm using iPhone. Uh, it was working good but now it's breaking that's why i'm asking the same question again yeah okay maybe maybe work some problem okay but from my there is no issues actually means i was i'm sitting in a room without any disturbance okay okay so which moment uh, can you uh, yeah okay so the goods movement this is the last step in this production cycle. This is nothing but a what are the components you consumed for home matching? Those you need to update in the system. Okay, that we will do in. Okay, thank you, Nicholas. Yeah, okay. So, we need to update in SAP. That is called the goods issue and goods receipt. Goods receipt is for product. Okay. Thank you. Okay, okay. This talk in you can see the stock in your transaction code MMB receipt you can see the stock stock of your Honda City S10 okay in MMB so Jamal, are you able to hear me now? Hello? Hello? Are you able to hear me now? Yeah. Are you able to hear me now? Yeah, yeah it was, uh, it was, uh, no, no, it was disconnected or something. It was, okay. Uh, it was the wife was uh, completely uh, bubbling. Oh, okay. Okay, maybe some network, bad network. But uh, this is the last step in uh, make to stock. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, goods. Yeah. Once you do the goods receive, your stock will update. And this stock is ready to sell. This stock is ready to sell. Sell to a customer. 
yeah but when the good moment when you talk about it the good moment and the good issue for success mm-hmm. that was you can if you repeat quickly one more time because it was bad connection okay so good issue is nothing but the components which are used in honda car city manufacturing all those components we will do good issue we are consuming that okay we have consumed all these we have used that components which are the components to manufacture honda car all those we will update in sap as goods issue okay, okay. goods receipt means whatever you produced the product main product that is called the goods receipt we produced main product like honda city so that we will do that as a goods receipt okay, okay. once you did this goods receipt you will get that stock in your system like in mmbe transaction code you can see the mm-hmm. stock of honda as 10 cars are available from this stock you can sell to the customer okay okay so this is the end to end process in make to stock okay. is this clear process make to stock okay mm-hmm. is this clear yes okay so i will uh, stop the class now okay we will connect okay. tomorrow at the same time okay. okay and we will continue the class okay okay thank you okay thank you, thank you. good night bye